What's up, guys? This is Heist, and we're coming back at you with another game of Railroad Jeopardy. But this time, it is the same game of Railroad Jeopardy as last time. Last time, we tested it out on my unsuspecting friends who uh, are in the MOW crew on the ESD who actually know nothing about railroading, which is probably fitting for a railroad of such name. But this time, we're playing with the Train Nerd Friend group, who you've seen on a couple of productions on the channel. Joining me today, we have Brett. Top of the morning to you. We have Leighton. And we have Ellis. Hi, uh, I'm competing against people that actually worked at the, or work at the Colorado Ram Museum, and uh, I've never driven a steam engine, so... Yeah. Uh, See, he said drive the steam engine, so that's how you know he's going to do poorly. <laughs> We're not in England. Anyway. Here with that BR West nonsense. <laughs> so, this is your standard Jeopardy game. We have five categories. I will note that the cab controls category is special in that it is images of controls in the cab. And that's where Brett and Leighton will really have some amount of preference over you because they've probably been in all of the locomotives that I have the pictures from. So, anyways... Um, but otherwise, you have statements, and then we need what is the question that gives them just like regular Jeopardy. I've already explained to the gentlemen how they're going to buzz in using Discord, and, uh, and we're going to make things happen. So, to get things kicked off, to see who gets to pick the first category, I have a number between 1 and 10. Paste it in the chat what you think it is, and, and we'll see if we can't make this happen here. And Brett, being the smart man, picked number 7. Brett, which, what would you like? Um, let's go... Running gear 500. Running gear for 500. Water lines that run from the boiler to the journal boxes used in emergencies to put out journal fires. Leighton. Uh, Keeley lines. Well, you... Sorry, our Keeley lines. Do we grill him on it, viewers? Do we grill him on it for not doing the Jeopardy thing right away? He's grilled me on driver, so... <laughs> That's fair. Well... <laughs> Leighton is correct. What are Keeley lines? Look at how fast that went. See what happens when they know things? <laughs> I love how we immediately get to something I've never heard of. That's right. very specific That's a... 2014 491 of you. That That's is a very a... specific 2014 491 of me. <laughs> For those playing at home, Keeley lines are sort of a uh, bullshit Rio Grandism, so it's a little bit niche. It is a little bit niche, but the whole purpose of this when I originally made it was have some easy stuff up in the 100s, 200s that I hoped that the guys in the MOW crew were going to get, and as everyone saw in the last episode, um, it was surprisingly painful, so apparently uh, I, I think that they watch my YouTube too much, and they don't, which just hurt me inside a little bit um going down to 500 down here is where i'm expecting to kind of teach the viewers a little bit of something with some fun trivia uh or niche things that don't get talked about too much because when the hell have you talked about keely lines otherwise or when were, was it going to come up in a different video so anyways that's kind of the idea there anyway Leighton, you got the points you have 500 points first on the board what would you like i'll take a boiler and appliances for 200 alex <laughs> That's Turd Ferguson to you. Wait, never mind. <laughs> 200. Here we go. The top of the external firebox. That's Ellis. Oh, crap. External firebox. What is the crown sheet? No. That is the right. internal firebox. Brett. Yeah, damn it. What is the wrapper sheet? What is the wrapper sheet? I don't know. I've never heard of it. What I'm is the wrapper sheet? I, I don't know. <laughs> It's got <laughs> it's got more hole it's got more bolts on the ins around the outside and does on the inside. <laughs> that's that, that's what the wrapper sheet is. Joke. <laughs> okay, Brett, what'd you like? Uh, let's do cab controls five hundred. Cab controls for five hundo. What is this cab control? Uh, Leighton. Hydrostatic and burns. <laughs> no. Brett. What is the condenser valve? What is the condenser valve on the hydrostatic lubricator? Sorry, Leighton. I was looking for exactly that valve because we were being specific. It was 500. And I gave a really good explanation of kind of vaguely how this works and what it does uh, in the last episode. So we, we need not talk about chemically magics again. Brett takes the lead here. Brett, what would you like? Uh, let's go right of way 500. Right away 500. On to the question that I'm expecting none of you will get. Oh, God. A special type of fitting that electrically connects a large cable to the web of rail for signal or return current purposes. Brett. What is a swedge? No. 
decent guess, though. Anyone else gonna buzz in? I thought you had to put the dude in the chat first. Oh, well, people immediately did not follow that, so we just... Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't gonna buzz in anyway. I have no idea what this is, but... Well, okay, on to Google. See if you can Google foo something. I'll give you 20 seconds. Ah, oh, crap. You're asking me to Google stuff I don't know? I do that at work all day long. You better be good at it. And you probably still won't find this, actually, but... And we're going to leave this this painfully long, by the way, in um, in the video. So just oh, painful great. silence for everyone. Just kidding. We'll probably fast forward it. So I just go. <laughs> this is how I get copyright strikes, ladies and gents. Thanks, Brett. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay, that's much. That's like 30 seconds even. Anyone going to buzz in? Uh, no. I'll, I'll take a ding. Is it a rail web permanent electrical contact? That That's... Pretty much, kind of, yes, but not the word I was looking for. Okay. Is it an AR-60D? No. Oh, what is... Manufacturer, I... What is a chambre connection? Oh, chambre, la -di I know, that's how we, that's, that's that's how we pronounce it in the industry. Word. It is a $10 word. That's a $10 word like sacelito. Like sacelito! Yes. Okay, well, seeing as no one got that, I've used a random number generator to pick another number, one through ten. Everyone place them in chat, and we'll see who gets to pick. Ellis, it's yours. Holy crap. Uh, oh, boy. I'm going to go with Railroad History for 100. Railroad History for 100. This was one large Colorado narrow-gauge railroad's new name after reorganizing in 1924. Brett. What is the Denver and Rio Grande Western? What is the Denver and Rear Grand Western? And they couldn't, they didn't get that in the last one. They did not really? get that in the last one. I couldn't believe it. We have a Denver and Rear Grand huh. engine in the game, and that's all we talk about. And nope, they didn't get it. Man, I figured that was going to be a trick question. Also, I still didn't know when to, when to hit enter. Just, just, just do it as, towards the end of the question, somewhere in there. It, it's kind of hard to guess out. I wish feel we had the real, rhythm, feel the rhyme. I wish we had real buzzers. So, you know, it's, it's an imperfect thing. This is one we could do in person when you're out here, if we all wanted to get drunk one night and sit around with, like, staples buttons. <laughs> that would be hilarious. I support this. May I offer an alternate answer to that last question? Yes. What is dangerous and rapidly growing worth? Worth? They're not rapidly worth. growing worth. <laughs> that was the whole point. The opposite, actually. <laughs> rapidly losing worth. Rapidly parking their equipment and rolling rolling stock into the parking lot and setting it on fire? Miss you, Fred. Anyways. Oh. <laughs> Brett. Let's go boiler and appliances for 500. Special fittings that can be removed to perform a 30-day boiler inspection and cleaning. Damn it. Layton's first buzz in was extremely early, so we'll give it to Brett, I think. Yes. <laughs> what is a washout plug? What are washout plugs? Or what is a washout plug? Yes. I didn't get the plural, damn it. <laughs> Menos puntos. What's Let's try Railroad History 500. I'm curious about this one. <laughs> yeah, this one's a bit of an inside joke. A locomotive uh -oh. purchased by Robert W. Richardson from the Montezuma Lumber Company in 1950 for $1,000. Uh, I, I, I think it was Leighton, I think. He has now done more, so <laughs> Leighton, go ahead. What is Denver and Rio Grande Western locomotive number 346, also known as Grandma? Also known as Grandma. Yes. Points for Leighton. Leighton. All the all the 500s are already off the board. Okay. Leighton, what would you like? What is cab controls for 400? <laughs> what is that this cab control? Thing. Brett. What is the deck hose? What is the deck hose? That was fun to talk about. Nobody had any idea or even knew that we had one in the last episode. This is a 36? That was, which, which yes, that was, a, is this? that was one of the 36s in Chama. I couldn't tell you which one it was. Uh, uh, let's go Boiler and Appliances for 400. Boiler and Appliances 400. Per the FRA, the minimum anywhere in the boiler is four. Layton. Safety. Uh, you've cut out the first chunk. Sorry, factor of safety. Factor of safety, indeed. Or what is the boiler's safety factor? Yeah. Although you didn't, you didn't give it as a question. Oh, You're sorry, bad what? at this. Okay. <laughs> he did ask for the category as a question, in fairness. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> he, he had his question I, ready I, earlier. I am not a smart man. We'll give <laughs> you the points. I think the master's I th degree does not lie. It lies. 
One of my favorite moments in the last episode was Tristan, who's an aeronautical engineer. Uh, I kept telling him that if he's not a real engineer, if he can't get this. And I even said the words safety factor in my hints to them, and he still couldn't figure it out. And then this popped up, and he's like, oh, yeah, duh. That was really funny. Yeah. You'll have to catch the episode. Leighton, what would you like? I'll do Railroad History for 400. A conflict between the Denver and Rio Grande and the Santa Fe that involved actual gunfighting over which railroad got to build the route. Ellis. Uh, that would be the Gorge War. What is the Gorge War? What is the Royal Gorge War? But I'll take Gorge War. Points oh, for okay. Ellis. He's on the board. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I, we're, we're thankfully not doing negatives, or else we'd only have two hundred points. But... Well, yeah, we're, it's a little I cruel. Hose. It's a, it's a little cruel. Ellis, what would you like? Okay, we're gonna go railroad history for two hundred. Railroad history two hundred. This railroad laid the eastern portion of the first transcontinental railroad across the United States. That's Brett. What is the Union Pacific? What is the Union Pacific? Man, I'm still waiting until the last word. And, <laughs> and there's there's some amount of ping shenanigans that goes on too, because we is. we realized last time when we played this that it, messages were showing up in different orders for the other guys, but it's whatever I see, so you just have to trust that I'm being accurate and truthful. Anyway. The first question we did, it showed me as buzzing in first before Leighton, but then Leighton had it on your end. So yeah. it's like, I throw it to the wind because Ellis is in Rhode Island, my internet's routed through a potato, and Leighton has fiber. So we're working yeah. with really different <laughs> things here. <laughs> Indeed. I don't, I, don't think, I don't think Heiss is done talking for me before you guys have buzzed in. Correct. Correct. Well, you're just going to have to be a little bit more preemptive. As long as it's not like... I, I keep... I keep my eye over there to see if the chat moves at all while I'm reading. So if, like, I see it bump up, it's like, okay, somebody sent something halfway through the question, you know? So it's right. uh, one of those things. So towards the end of the question, eh, close enough. It's just kind of the name of the game. Uh, anyways, that was Brett's point, right? So what would you like? Uh, let's go running gear 400. Running gear for 400. The curved part in Walshirt's valve gear that rocks back and forth and provides the geometry for the radius rod to move in. And I think that was Leighton? No, I didn't click because I'm trying to remember the name for it besides the banana. <laughs> yeah, and I, I'm in the same exact place. I, punched, I, I put the thing in and I went, oh crap, I don't know. I don't know what that's called, actually. I just think it's the banana. Hey, uh, I. <laughs> yes, yes, Brett, you may. Unless Leighton's going to give it another shot. No, what no. is the expansion link? What is the expansion link? It's the banana. It is the banana. It is the banana. <laughs> I'm, I thought it was like a cucumber, but yeah, the banana. I am, has... I'm glad that you guys said banana, because that's what I gave in my hint last time. And uh, I'm just proving that I'm not the one moron in here. <laughs> Four. No, I am. Look at the <laughs> scores. We're four, we're four quarters of one idiot. <laughs> we, we are four quarters of one idiot. That implies that collective we're all there. I don't think that's the case. Well, well you know, we can rename dream. the channel the Idiot Collective. Something like that. <laughs> Brett, what would you like? Uh, let's do right of way 400. Right away for 400. We're going backwards order in this game, I, I see. A wayside structure, typically a prefabricated metal building that houses signaling equipment such as relays and vital processors. Brett. What is a signal shanty? Leighton. What is a signal shed? <laughs> and we're getting to the terminology again. No, to both of you. Ellis. Okay, terminology. What is a signal box? Or is that too British? A signal, so a signal box is kind of British. We do have equipment cases and signal cases that would meet that requirement. Had I said it was not a prefabricated building that you can walk into, there's a very particular term we uh -huh. use. Brett. What is a shack? <laughs> no. <laughs> shack, shack is the one who beats up the hobos off of the train. <laughs> That's with a Q, though. I thought he was the one. That He's the one that does the basketball. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think Ernest Borgnine is seven feet tall. So, anyone uh, else going to give it a shot? I've always just called them shanties. Line can side I, shanties. Can I, you, can I throw you some engineering bullshit? Technobabble? <laughs> Technobabble? No. So, I'll give you a hint. The, the name of the thing is Signal Blank. And the blank is kind of a weird, funny word for house. 
or a specific kind of house. It feels like something bizarrely particular that Leighton would use in everyday vocabulary because he's Leighton. Signal bungalow? (laughs) 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 Just just the softest of softball pitches. And he nailed it out of the park, everyone. (laughs) That's beautiful. That was... Why do you do that to me? (laughs) Layton? You guys need to start building, like, signal split levels and signal... Right. Yeah. Layton? we're only going to go with signal, sustainable development, dense housing, no detached housing. It's going to be single duplexes. (laughs) Signal five over ones. We're going to solve the missing middle. (laughs) Did I give Layton the points, or have I just been laughing? You've been laughing at me. You didn't give him the Okay, now he's got the points. Sorry, Leighton, that was just, you're just a very particular individual in the way that you like to speak. It just felt too right. And then you just delivered on the joke that I didn't even set up for you. You didn't even know it was going to be a joke. That was great. Leighton, what would you like, you beautiful human? I'll take railroad history for 300. Let's, let's clear out the category. A rail line owned by the Colorado and Southern Railroad that ran over the mountain pass of the same name from Denver, Colorado to Como, Colorado. The Denver side of the pass featured steep grades and sharp curves that required frequent use of helper locomotives. I think that's Brett. Hard to tell. What is the South Park line? And I say that rather than the Kenosha line because you say rail line, and the line was not called the Kenosha line. Here is where Heist gets minus points for probably naming this wrong. I was gearing this towards the last audience, assuming that they would get the steep grade, sharp curves post part of the joke. So no, okay, Brett, that's not what, what I was looking gonna... for. What is that? <laughs> pass? Yes. But then the question's not right. The question's not right. Heist gets minus points. Brett can get points. Yes, rail line. I guess that's not technic- oh, technically the right thing. You get the point still. You can be mad at me later. I drove over Kenosha Pass yesterday twice, so. <laughs> and did you go for tummy scratches like 346? Hopefully uh, not. No. Oh, God. Did you no. see a moose? Yeah, did, no, you, but, did you see a moose? Yeah, last time, I, last two times we saw a moose. Anyways, Brett, what would you like? Uh, boiler and appliances for three hundo. The front portion of the external portion of the firebox. That's not what the question says. You know what I mean. Ellis! Wait. You got the front as in... The front of the external portion of the firebox. So the exterior sheet. What is it called? The one you can see without being inside the firebox. Wouldn't that be the Um, back? That would be the back head? The front of it, not the the back. I'm thinking front... Uh, Tube sheet. I don't know. That's Crap. the in- that's the interior piece. Brett was the second buzzer, I believe. What is the throat sheet? What is the throat sheet? Throat sheet. Okay. Yeah. There's so many different tube, sheets. Tube sheet was a really good guess, though. Tube sheet. Yeah. No. That's. I was surprised that that's like the same. The other group got that as well. They knew their interior firebox names, which was huh. kind of surprising, which was nice. Apparently anyway, I can get only interior firebox stuff. Well, exterior firebox is. Most people think that the firebox is just the firebox, and then they don't think about the rest of the part that has to hold the water in. So, it's fair. You wash it enough times, you realize. <laughs> it, it's true. Okay, Brett, what would you like? And did you get points? Uh, he did not. Right, He's got points now. <laughs> Wonderful. Um, let's go boiler and appliances for one hundo. Let's clear out the category. The long cylindrical portion of the boiler. Brett. What is the barrel? What is the boiler barrel? Okay, categories cleared. We got three to categories to go. Let's go cab controls for three hundred. What is this cab control? Brett. What is the Johnson bar? What is the Johnson bar? What you like next? Uh, let's go cab controls 200. What is this cab control? That's Leighton. The throttle. It is. What is the throttle? Question. What is the throttle, god? Thank you. <laughs> what is the throttle, god? <laughs> Indeed. What is it? Tell me! <laughs> what is it? It's the regulator. No, it's not. Get out of here. Get out of here. Leighton, what would you like? Or did you I'll get points? You, did you, you didn't get points. Have your points. Thank you. I know I'm going to lose, but I'd like the I'd like the recognition. I'll take running gear for 300. The large rod that connects the main crank with the wrist pin that actually provides the motion. Brett, he's quick on these, ladies and gents. 
What is the main rod? What is the main rod? Damn. And that's the, that's the middle of the road running gear category, so these are some real... I keep faking myself out. <laughs> I remember something about main rods... <laughs> Just bleep it for comedic. Uh, uh, we'll, we'll, just put, we'll just put a whistle straight across that again. Oh, yeah. by the way, you guys haven't seen it yet because it hasn't aired yet, but the uh, the Mashinki video, everyone who swore got a different whistle over their swears, so there's a lot of 487 for Brett, let me tell you. Well, that's... Uh... <laughs> please, tell me, please tell me you gave me a hooter or something British. You didn't swear at all the whole episode. It was just Alice, Brett, and me. For what did really? I say? Yeah. <laughs> Ellis never swears. Ellis, you swore one time, and so I gave what Ellis I the say? Norfolk and Western Hooter for the, uh, you know, for the memes of it. I don't remember what you said, but you swore. I think oh, it was just a... Well, let me Indeed. <laughs> anyway. Um, right of what, 300. Right away, 300. A sign placed at railroad crossings in the shape of an X with the words railroad crossing on it. Brett. What is a cross buck? What is a cross buck? Did we all three buzz in early on that one, and that's yeah. why you ignored it? Yes, you guys were all okay. very early. <laughs> Come on. Whoops. What would you like? Uh, let's do cab controls one hundo. Clear that category. What is this? Layton. Uh, that is the uh, whistle cord. What is a whistle cord? Thank you! <laughs> we'll give you the points, but come on, man. <laughs> What is the whistle cord? The other answer could have been, what is Heist's favorite thing in the train? But, you know. What is the loud thing? What is the loud thing? Other than the safety God. valve. Yeah. Our new diesel, we have been told by the powers that be that we need to muffle its horn. Because we opened the horn up just to see what it sounded like. And I'm pretty sure we almost blew the neighbor's house over. Uh, yeah, that's unsurprising. Yeah. Per the FRA, you have to have at least 96 dB. 100 feet ahead of the locomotive at a point six feet above the tracks in the center of the rails. And 96 dBs is louder than most local rock shows can be mixed at at the booth where the audio engineer sits. You're typically seeing like 92, 93 dB in there. So 96, louder than a rock concert, 100 feet away, which is usually further away than the booth is. So long story short, train horn loud. Anyway, uh, Leighton, I don't know if I gave you your points. Okay, well, you have points now. You maybe you have extra points. This is the this is not as poorly officiated as it was last time. It was very, very poorly officiated last time. Leighton, what would We're you like? Okay. Right away for 200. Right away for 200. An early type of railroad signal that used a mechanically driven arm to provide indications to the engineer. Ellis. That would be a semaphore. What is, what a, is semaphore? a semaphore? <laughs> but you're you're so far behind. We'll give you the points. Yeah. What would you like, Alice? Uh, we'll go for right of way for one hundred. <clears throat> Any track that has a distance between the rails less than the standard fifty six and a half inches. And I believe that was Brett. What is narrow gauge? What is narrow gauge? Brett is crushing this, but Brett and I basically had the same role at the museum and learned a lot of the same stuff, some of it at the same time, so that's really not surprising. Yeah. Brett, what would you like? Uh, let's go running gear 100. Sometimes known as White's classification, this is how typical steam locomotives are described by number and type of wheels. Brett. What is wheel arrangement? What is wheel arrangement? And the last one, and there is no uh, final Jeopardy or anything, so this is for all the marbles here. Daily double. <laughs> I guess I can just click on it, huh? You don't have to I, pick. I don't really need to call the category. <laughs> <laughs> the part on a locomotive where the frame rests on the wheel sets and the axle receives lubrication. Ellis. What is a journal box? What is a journal box? Oh my god, I buzzed in and got one right. Look at that! <laughs> he did both pieces of the thing. It is so hard to figure out when to buzz in for, it's, for me. Yeah. It's a challenging thing. But yeah. it's gotta it's gotta go all the way across the United States and back. It does. It is quite quite a distance over here, you know, I'm all, all the way in Washington, so yeah, it makes a bit of a change. And not your Washington, the the actual Washington. The big Washington. The big one. The one that has more than one city in it. 
Anyways, that was my edition of Railroad uh, Jeopardy with the train nerd friends. At the end of the day, Brett handily won it, which is not terribly surprising. It probably could have gone Brett and Leighton either way. Um, just because of, you know, buzzer shenanigans, I guess Brett was quick on the draw. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys enjoyed this experience. What'd you think? I am just happy to be here. pretty good. <laughs> the, the, none of the we... questions were too unfairly worded other than the South Park line. I think we need to do this in person in somebody's living room with a lot of liquor happening. I think that yeah. would be a good bit of fun. And I've got several cameras should we want to uh, make it into content, but we don't have to do that. We can have fun for ourselves. <laughs> it is it is tough to do these kinds of things with timing over Discord. Like it, really, it tough, is. really tough. Yeah. I, I know I I know I complained, but I'm really happy that I was able to come on this thing and I appreciate you setting it up and like I said I'm just happy to be here, so you know, oh well, I got a positive number of points even if you subtract the 200 from my oh wait no i messed two of them up so it's don't fine know. don't don't i wouldn't sweat it make sure you go check yeah, out ellis's youtube channel as well he's got a people actually work with steam engine they actually <laughs> the excuses are running over the commentary the steam engines <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, we're leaving that one in. That's yes, that's the sure. that that's it. She's just. Why doesn't that get bleeped? You've been doxxed <laughs> on the air. We could bleep it if you're really embarrassed, but that'd be a that'd be a good moment. Leave leave comments below it. What what you think uh, was told to Ellis by his girlfriend? Anyway. <laughs> Uh, anyways, make sure you go check out Ellis's channel as well. He does a lot of cool railroad things on his YouTube channel, so go check him out. I believe you stream every week, don't you? I've been working on a mega project in trains for the last several years. Uh, it's called the Tollburn Peninsula, and so I stream and I answer questions on how to route build and stuff like that, as well as we've got a podcast, which Wybold is on sometimes, and a handful of other things, including a locomotive game show called Loco Royale where we pit steam locomotives against one another. Well, that so, sounds quite entertaining. <laughs> I, I actually wanted to, you said about having a railroad-based game show. I wanted to talk to you about it. Oh, well, anyway. we'll, we, we'll have to follow, <laughs> circle up on that. Let, let, let us know if you think that sounds interesting in the comments. Anyways, thanks so much for watching, everyone. Appreciate you guys, as always. Make sure you click the like button, the subscribe button, and the little bell if you want to get notified. Bye! Bye!